Fast travel is really well hidden within the game, that plenty of people, including I, wish we knew before playing this game. To activate it, go to the camp ledger, and under lodging within the camp ledger, you will see something about Dutch wanting to upgrade his camp. Before you say nah, screw him, after that purchase, there will be an upgrade that will activate fast travel. The upgrade is called Next in Line. After purchasing it, there will be a map behind the wagon within the area you sleep in. It will show you all the areas you can fast travel to at the moment. From what I heard, you must have your horse at the camp to use this. My advice is not to skip this opportunity like I did. I went through the whole game not knowing about fast travel, and when I did, the opportunity was gone, as you will see later within the story. But to the individuals who did the same as I, there is a way to travel the map like fast travel, which is by stagecoach and train. In most games, side missions can be skipped and be played at at the end of the game, or side missions don't have a huge impact to the story. But in Red Dead 2, both of those statements are false. I for one thought those two statements are true to this game, and skipped the side missions thinking that I could play them again at the end. But to my surprise, you can't. To many that are going to play this game, side missions are important to the story, and if you don't play them in time, they will go away. Many might not have this issue, but some will. To those who don't know what an infinite loading screen is, it is basically the loading screen before you play the game stays infinite and won't let you in the game. I faced this issue my third day playing Red Dead 2. I found a video on YouTube that fixed the issue with the infinite loading screen, which I'll leave a link to below. But before I seen the video, I contacted Rockstar and right after my problem was fixed, they responded with another solution. I'll show it on screen for those who want to use this solution. But if both of these solutions don't work, I would suggest contacting Rockstar. One cool feature I didn't know about this game until after finishing the game is autopilot or auto horse in this situation. Basically this feature will allow you to ride your horse to a destination without clicking on any buttons. The way to activate it is by selecting a waypoint on the map, either while on your horse or not, and ride the horse at a fast speed. Once you got that down, now activate the cinematic camera and boom, the horse should now take you to your waypoint on the map on a medium speed without clicking any buttons. But let's say you want to make your horse go faster. You could just tap the X button for at PS4 or A button for Xbox and it will go faster without taking you out of autopilot. If you want to cancel autopilot, just click on the cinematic camera button on your selected console controller. The problem with autopilot is not being able to stop for stranger encounters, but you can manually stop it. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more gaming content like this, or just gaming content in general like reviews, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for your time, and see you for the next video.